collision mesh for a static uh, mesh for Skyrim. So I'm just going to whip up some shit I made in like, uh, I don't know, two minutes. So I expect you have your model already. Uh, and I assume that you kind of have a working knowledge of, of NIF scope and how to import basic models already. Uh, so you have your mo your actual model here. Now, here's the thing. This has uh, two meshes, right? So the collision mesh, generally what you want for the collision mesh is simply to approximate the geometry of the original mesh. And you want kind of a sim Kind of a rule of thumb is 10% is of the polys of the original mesh, give or take. Uh, but the basic idea is that you kind of compose collision hulls, right? So you're ignoring high detail, right? So if you look at this guy here, very simple uh, mesh. This is the collision mesh, not very many uh, polys there. We want something that is it's not going to be computationally costly. This one has a little bit more. Uh, you can even see the the faces here, right? So six. So what what is this? Uh, six hundred faces versus ninety two faces, right? So that's what you want to do. So build your collision mesh, uh, and then we're going to export this. So um, export your collision mesh. and your original mesh. The, th the key thing to note is that you want your collision mesh and your original, original mesh to be exactly in the same uh, origin coordinate point because the collision mesh is the, the Position is exactly how, or approximately exactly how, it's going to uh, exist in the game. Collision mesh is just basically the thing that determines whether you collide or whether an object has collided with the mesh in question. Um, and even for animated, so I'll do a tutorial later on how to how to create collision for animated meshes, uh, advanced NIF files, things like that later. Uh, so I'll just kind of go through the steps, right? Uh, let's import, this is the original mesh, the, the actual mesh, right? So uh, remember we're here, you have your mesh, you add your um, BS lighting texture property, sh uh, shader property, whatever, add textures. Uh, mind your UV sets and everything, and then you have this uh, without the BHK collision object. So this is what you should have. You should have your BSX flags, your Nitri shape with the properties connected to a BS fade node. That is your original mesh. So this is the thing you're actually going to see in game. The second thing to do is this. Um, you can technically just import it and uh, start with an empty uh, or new NIF file, import the the collision, and um, so there are a couple things we're going to cover here. But so this is the thing I just imported. Delete the uh, property here. So uh, you should have your mesh. Make sure that the normals are facing the right way. All right, and you have an NI node here, right? No, B you can have a BS fade node too, but basically you have an NI node and everything within is going to be an E-tree shape. So if you want, let's say I wanted to uh, have a, a wood floor. So the collision is going to be, you know, stone walls, but I want wood floor, so I want something that's going to be a, a wood material for the floor. Um, I don't have anything. 
So let's say like if, if this was the wood floor I was talking about. Uh, well, in that case, so we have two Nitri shapes, right? Let's say that the sides were, the sides are supposed to be uh, the stone and this is the wood. So what you would do is you would set the Nitri shape name here to specific names. It's so at this point, some of you might have a bug where you, you know, the mysterious bug where the, the material doesn't work. There's no sound to the material and it's, it behaves wacky, right? We'll cover that. So there's going to be a name and we're going to find out what the names are. It's not necessarily have sky have matte stone. It might be something else depending on your version of, of chunk merge and NIF scope. And, but right. So, so this is going to be sky have matte stone. This, uh, the, the sides are, and then the, the, uh, the top is going to be wood. So, what you want to do is have a structure like this. We're really just looking at the structure right now. So you want to have a Nitri shape for every material. Sky have matte stone, sky have matte wood. This is in your collision file. This is the collision file, right? So this is how mine looks right now. Uh, we'll address the name issue later. So you have those two things. The, th the third thing you need to do, and you have to kind of play with this, so what you can do is um, you can get this, which I don't use. I don't use this version of chunk merge, but uh, the useful thing about it is you can go, you can open this so you, NIF Utils Suite. You can open that, or you can just use 3ds Max. Either way, uh, open something that already has collision. Uh, I don't know this. I think, right? So you could so the red, uh, the red. Uh, mesh is the collision, right? So you can make sure that the collision is actually properly where it's supposed to be with that. Okay, so the reason why that's important is because you're going to want a template NIF file. Uh, and so they vary, the behavior kind of varies, uh, the output I should say varies based on what template you use but I'm gonna go to dungeons and mind you you should have already exported this right so this kind of assumes that this is an advanced tutorial I'm, a, I'm assuming you already have everything out uh, but you're gonna export uh, let's see it's Nordic clutter so meshes dungeon Nordic clutter nor TMP plat tower this thing so here's how to set up a template. This is just one example. You can use different meshes based on your uh, kind of it. So some tutorials say that you kind of have to find a template that kind of matches what you're making. So if you're making a tower, probably a good idea to get a, a tower NIF file, something that looks like a tower or whose collision mesh looks like a tower. And if you're making a wall, look for a wall. I don't know that that's necessarily true. Um, the behavior very, in fact, uh, I've ha I have actually just been using a Dwemer pipe for every single one of my meshes and it, it just does the same thing. So it, I don't, I don't know that it's necessarily that you have to do that. Just find a mesh that, that always pr produces the correct result, right? A, t a template that does that. So basically a template that's consistent. So for example, some, some imperial wall meshes actually offset your collision mesh. So uh, that's a problem. Here's what your template should look like. BS fade node, BSX flags, BHK collision object. That's it, nothing else, nothing else should exist. Once, once that's finished, um, Let's go to, well, just uh, make a folder where you want to put the, the template. So um, I already have a, a mine right here, tower TMP. It's just, just the same thing. All right, so that's done. So now you have 
your real mesh, your collision mesh, and the template. Now you, uh, we're going to do something before we actually do chunk merge. So if this is your first uh, collision mesh, uh, we're going to open chunk merge the XML file, right? So this is the XML file. Again, you should have chunk merge and the XML file. I think the XML file might generate itself. I don't remember. But it, it, it should definitely come with it if not generate itself. So you should see this. If not, maybe run chunk merge. If not, find it. Chunk merge XML is what we're opening. Now, the important thing in here is this. Uh, path, I don't know why it's not formatted in XML format. It's so stupid. Uh, anyway, so the thing you should look for is this path NIF XML, right? And it's going to reference a directory. Now, you have uh, what you want to do is f find a, a NIF XML version that actually has the collision material IDs in it. So 1.10 does not have that as far as I recall. Uh, but uh, the, where is it? Uh, NIF scope 2.0, right? So NIF scope version 2.0 does have that. So you want to set your path NIF XML to the location of the XML of that version. Okay. Um, so once you have that set up, go to this file and that's it right here. Second thing we need to do here, you want to find this, right? So go in your, your uh, notepad, control F and find Skyrim Havoc material. And these are the actual IDs of the materials. Now, the thing is you have matte broken, matte, light wood, etc. Uh, take the the uh, tag, the label, right? So this is matte underscore. We're going to copy that and then find where it says matte scan name. That's the second tag in the XML you have to find. Matte scan name. Replace whatever is in here with what we just copied. Okay, so we're looking at Skyrim Havoc material find the uh, de determine the uh, tag the prefix copy the prefix which is mat underscore in this case for XML 2.0 uh, NIF XML 2.0 and then find mat scan name again save it like that now now we go to chunk merge okay now we have chunk merge. What you need to see is this. You need to see that it has added all the materials, right? Because if it has not added all the materials, um, well, then you did something wrong. Um, so we're going to do this. NIF file, that's your original file. That's your original mesh. That's the thing you're going to see in game. Uh, which you're adding collision to. Second, your collision file. And if you haven't already, uh, open your template. I already have it. So, um, ooh, I have to set it back to here, I think. Let's select tower. It shouldn't really matter uh, as long as it's a good template. So if it's just one mesh, right? You're not varying. Uh, you're not varying the materials. Just select single, right? And now you should have all your materials here. Uh, select mesh data. So this is what you should have, right? Then. 
Uh, let me make sure that I don't, oh, I didn't, yeah, no, we're good. So convert, and then let's, let's open that. So we're gonna go to send, let's see, da, 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 arc, yeah. So now you should see this. You should see your BHK collision object in here. Now, here's another thing. Uh, if you do have multiple uh, materials, multiple meshes for multiple materials in there, what you want to do, let's go to... So our collision file here, this is wrong, uh, depending on on how your XML is set up. You have to go to your NIF XML and look that up. Uh, so, and you have, I mean, you have all the materials here anyway, right? And, and their IDs. So we want stone. Uh, well, it's just a different prefect, so Matt, Matt Stone, right? And this is for Sky, uh, Skyrim Havoc material. So this is only if you have uh, different, uh, this is only if you have different Nitri shapes uh, that you need to ap ap apply different materials to. So you put Matt Stone here, okay, in that case. And let's see, uh, so let's go ahead and save that. And uh, deleting this just to redo it. Okie dokie. Uh, now select name of, of Nitri shape with mesh data. This is going to, to map each uh, collision material based on the name of the Nitri shape. And remember, it's whatever you looked at in the XML. Convert. Uh, once you have that, let's get out our BHK collision. So now you're just ready to uh, copy your, uh, your mesh, put it in wherever you have it in your Skyrim, and add it. So I already have it added here. Right, so we're just new static, uh, import it, whatever, splendid.